Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. So, while I sit here, you are going to go and carry on where you left off last time. Enjoy. Just, can we do that with anything? We can. Clean up bags. I can do the same right here in the bags if I want to. And I'm assuming I can do the same. Yes, I can. I can clean up the bank. Should I choose to clean up the bank, I can do that as well. Uh, so I'm looking through here, and I am seeing no others that have got duplicates at the moment, anyway. Um, so let me go clean up Reagent Bank. There we go. We, we move those around. So those three there, those are kept back. Do you see any more duplicates? Because I don't. We've got bars here, and we've got coppers. We, yeah, we, we've got all of this stuff. Right. Okay. I'm not quite sure why I would even consider wanting to do this, but I kind of like the idea of doing this. I really do. Like, th this seems like it's going to be something that's going to be fun. I'm thinking that we would probably want to get rid of all of this lot and, and just focus on all the rest of it. Okay, so I've now got the Highland Sheet. I'm going to start from this end. Uh, with these, we've got the massive turkey leg, uh, Highland Spring water, and all of those, those you know, we don't want any of them. Uh, so really, we're looking up here. I've got this fresh squeezed lime That requires level 60. I, I can put that in there. And also the pineapple pizzas. Everybody's been giving me these pineapple pizzas. Well, now I've, I've actually got somewhere to put them. Meat-basted caribou, that can go in here as well because we no longer have a real use for that. Fizzy apple cider, that's Blizzard account bound. Um, okay, well, I won't worry about that one for a minute. And if I got anything else, well, I do have the succulent orca shoe and the night crawlers. Yeah, those, those are stacks of 20 as well. Right, this is the beginning of some serious epicness that is probably have not a good one going to work out very well. I just don't think I'm going to be able to get the space for it altogether. I think that's going to be the big thing, is we're just not going to have the space to be able to make this work at all. I didn't want to do that. I, I wanted to press B over here and do that. Right, so if I go to crafting right there, we've got this bit right here. And I'm looking through. I've got a few ores over here. We've got a bit of elemental earth, ruined orbs. We've got various bits in there. I'm not going to take things out of the guild bank in order to use for this little um, target that I've now set myself. But we've got thorium ore right there and iron ore right there that I'm going to drop into the bank so that people can use because it goes with those. Um, actually, if I move these over that let's swap them over because otherwise Tuval is going to come back on and he is going to weep silent tears onto his boots because of the mess that I've made in his guild bank it's going to be very upset with me and the stone there heavy stone that's not really worth anything at all I don't think that's even worth anything over in the auction house we will just step across the road a moment and we'll have a look and I will also go actually I'm going to go up here first I'm going to go to the innkeeper up here, and you do get these various different things drop from different things, but like, you price of goods. I could go and buy a stack of each of these in here, and yeah, see all these different things, but you get the Dry King Bullet, Zanger Caps, Raw Black Truffles, Spongy Morels. These all drop from different creatures and stuff like that. Um, this, this is, these are all drops. You get Refreshing Spring Water drop from low-level creatures and Ice Cold Milk. So we don't need to go. I could go and buy them all right now and really boost myself. But why would I? I, I absolutely don't need to. Because it's, it's just going to end up... Um, yeah, this is not something I want to do. Right. Do I want to eat mushrooms? I don't really... Peppered puffball. Uh, that's a level 85 one there. That that will give me a nice bit of health. Coming back. We, we had a buttery wheat roll. That's level 85. Cornmeal. No, I don't want the... Fry bread. Level 85. Uh, 10,000 health, 15,000. That's the one right there, I think. That's that's a, a health restorer. One, two. I just, I'll just go with two of them. We'll just take two of those. And we'll take that and that instead of those. Right, where is the mead-basted caribou? I put that into my bank. 
Am I still able to sit and eat that, even though, because it, it said 10 on there. I don't think that's right. That, that feels wrong. So the grey armour, we won't bother with. The heavy stone, I don't think we want to bother with that either. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We want to craft that into other stuff in order to be able to do our little thing that we want to do, don't we? Right, let's just have a look through here and find everything that is soul-bound at the moment. Um, I won't worry about the rest of it. I will just very quickly sell all of the soul-bound items. Like this. Uh, Ghost Forge Breastplate, the Harmonious. Sorry, Torval. It served us well for a, a, a period of time. Um, it's going to have to be sold. And that one, we've got Pharaoh's Burial. Ooh. <gasps> okay, we do want that one. Definitely want that one. Yeah, we want to keep that one. Uh, you, right there, you can go. Soulbound, rediscover Delta Walkers. And we can go. Soulbound. That's not, that's not. Uh, that's not, that's not. Neither's that. Neither is that. Oh, that's made by Harlequin. Th those three there are level 90 there for us. In a little bit. So those aren't. You See go. You, soon. you come here, and then I'll go to that one. The Pharaoh's the Pharaoh the Pharaoh's burial shoulders, and swap that over like that. So we get the burial shoulders like that. Talk to and me. Talk to me. Sell that one to you. Watch right. your back. Watch your back. Okay, I'll watch my back. Don't worry. And then. I'm just going to send all of these green items here off. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to put that green lockbox into the guild bank. So go and do that. And I also forgot to sell all of that other junk from our, um, our own bank. And I also forgot to pick up some stuff from in here. So uh, where do we put the lockboxes? Where do people deal with the lockboxes in here? It's uh, all open. Nothing. Nothing in here. A load of pets in here. It's looking shiny. And look at that. Royal Satchels. 28 slot bags right there. We can't go taking it. 30! 30 slot bags. Look, we could take these and we could put them in our bank. Look at all that space we've got. We won't. We're not going to do that. We're going to be good people. We're going to be good boys and girls. And uh, well, we're going to be a good... I'm going to be a good boy. Uh, I want two of those to replace two of the ones that I've got. So that we can just upgrade, though, the penny pouch, that one slot one, and another one. And then we'll worry about further upgrades later on. And I'm going to go to here is probably the best one. And I'll drop that one right there in the middle. So if somebody sees it, they can take it. And I'm not going to take anything else out of there. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then we're going to come up over to you. Hello. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to go like this. And right. I just want to make sure that I can... Can I learn any of these? That's Engineering 40. Outland. Uh, engineering 260. 275. I can't learn any of those recipes. And I think what I need to do is I do need to be... I can keep that full. Right, I can just keep that bit there full and not worry about it. But I'm really thinking I should be quite harsh with myself and I should remove everything. All right, don't keep anything at all. But it's honestly, don't laugh. But it's not something I can do easily. Right, I can't. I can't just go and do that. This is something that I'm going to have to build up to. Even though I've probably got all of those items carefully saved on Frith. Um, it's not something that I can just go and do and get rid of everything, right? I can't. I can't. Don't judge me. Don't blame me. It's not my fault. It's just the way things are. It's just something that you're going to have to learn to accept. Don't judge me, please. I, I can't help it. See you later. Right. We've got a little bit of space right there. I want to just take a look at the heavy stone in the auction house, and I want to see what's going on with that. So then we've got in place our new grand plan that will spread across however many characters we ever make uh, until we run out of space. That's, that's going to be the only thing. We might have to make a bank character and try to create a bank guild just for that character so that we can get a whole load more space in order to store stuff. Or even just to have storage characters so we don't worry about that we just build more storage characters like we have a gray character and we have a white character and things like that um 
that could be a thing that we do. That could actually be quite a cool thing to do. Like, you know, we, we, if we really go for it. No item, no heavy stone anywhere on the auction house. I find that hard to believe. Right, well, in which case, I'm going to list this heavy stone right here. Starting price is 78 silver for that. Starting price per stack, 130. Uh, set stack size. Let's break this bad boy down a bit, and we will go for 65. Okay. Two stacks at 65 apiece. Uh, starting price per unit. I will sell this at five silver a piece. Like that. Buyout price. Five silver a piece. And I will go over here and I will go for 50 at like that. And that's going to be a 48 hour auction. Right there. 65 times two. There's all our heavy stone create auction. Here we go. Three gold 25 for a bit of heavy stone. Oh, wait a minute. I don't. Idiot. I didn't want to do that because I was going to turn that into engineering stuff, wasn't I? Engineering, right here. Remove that. Uh, remove the north rent. Remove the outlands. Uh, parts, explosives, goggles, devices, guns, deadlies. No, it's under parts, isn't it? Explosives. Heavy blasting powder. That's what I need. I need to make heavy blasting powder. I can turn 200 heavy stone into 200 heavy blasting powder and I filled that bit up. Um, this is going to be the bit that's really going to take us some time, is making a full stack of everything that we've got here, like a full stack of bronze tubes, a full stack of wearing bronze gear. These are all white, right? Each and every single one of these is a white quality item, and therefore, according to our new quest that we have set ourselves, is something that we're going to need to do. We're going to need to craft each and every one. Right, well, the... the that's listed now, so we'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave it be, and we'll maybe come back to it. But yeah, even though these are all like crafting items, their white quality are the grey quality items. You only get those from killing What's creatures. What's on your mind? Can't go and buy them. You only get them from killing creatures. So we know that we go, we'll, we'll be able to go and get them. A penny pouch right there. I love the penny pouch. It's gone. All right, the ultimate personal sacrifice. I'm making. I am making sacrifices here. I'm selling all of it. There's no sell price for half of this stuff. No sell price. No sell price. That's a silver. Uh, two silver for the great picking sack and Captain Sanders' booty bag. I can get rid of that one as well. Take right, so i got these five items here. Just, yes, destroy. Bye-bye. They're all going. Get rid of them all. I'm out of range. Look, look at this. The words of the High Chief has gone. And so is the booze. Yeah, right. The peon sleep potion, whatever that was. I have done. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to go off looking for something else. The Zephyrian Prince. This is a pet that we haven't learned before. We've had James Collins following us around faithfully for a little while now. Right there, James Collins. Look at him, the, the shale hatchling. But now we're going to learn the Zephyrian Prince. We've not learned one of these before. Uh, this is the final pet that Sen gave me. She gave me a collection of pets, and this is the last of the pets that she gave me. Um, this is, he drops from al Akia on the throne of the four winds. So it's easy, easily able to be farmed when you're a much higher level. But for me, not so much at the moment. Um, but anyway, we've got that bad boy right there. Uh, Zephyrian Prince is going to have to be renamed. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, first of all, we will drop it down into there in place of James Collins. James Collins, very sorry. Your time in the sun is done. Uh, this one is going to be called Dog Rocket. Dog Rocket. You are a prince, my friend. You are a prince. You are none other than... Let's summon him. Let's just make sure... There he is. There he is. There's Dog Rocket over there. We've got to rename him. Uh, rename Dog Rocket. D-O-G-R-O-K-E-T. Yeah, Dog Rocket. Dog Rocket is the Zephyrian prince. There he is in all his glory. Look at him. Oops. I'm, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to look at him. Trying to admire Dog Rocket. There's Dog Rocket. Can't make him out very well. He has armor. The rest of him is kind of mystical and uh, difficult to see. Difficult to understand. He's a mystical sort of creature. And he answers to nobody. Right. Back onto our panther. So, we've done it. We've got everything set up. We've still got half a level to go. So we're going to go back down here now to uh, Deep Home jump through the portal down here and we're going to go back into our questing so the next thing that we've got is speak to oh wait what whoa, whoa, whoa in, into the stone core 
Oh no, that's upstairs. That's not down here. I was just thinking that's um that's, that's up there, but no, that's that's actually upstairs. Literally right upstairs. Uh, I don't want to go that way. I don't. Want, I, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost in this temple. No, I'm not. I'll go out this way. And if I come out here, I'm really like I'm I'm quite excited about this new plan that we've got. I really want to just like uh, I, I actually like the idea of going along and killing a load of low-level stuff just to get some low-level items. Um, I'm not going to though. Uh, two stone hearths aid. Right, that is the next thing that we need to go and do. Uh, the general consensus of opinion that I seem to get from people about this is that we stay here until we reach level 90. Don't bother finishing all the storylines in here. Reach level 90 and then go straight to the next zone, which is all the way out here. Now again, we go straight to Drenor and we do everything in here from 90 all the way up to 100 possibly above by following storylines we do the shadow moon valley obviously that's gonna be the first one then we're heading up into gorgrond and we're gonna work our way through until we get to level 100 and we'll finish whatever zone we're in as well so that we possibly go higher than level 100 as well uh, before we move on to the next one so we're, this character is going to spend a good long time in drenor uh, the next character we go through, that's gonna sort of be that's gonna be the Pandaria thing, and also, no, well, I say also Northrend. Northrend, we are gonna be leaving Northrend at level eighty, so that we can go. But anyway, that, that's ages. We don't need to worry about that. Let's let's let's, let's not um, get too distracted, shall we? We have Elementium down here. We want to go for that because we can add that to our total of, of everything that we want to collect. Like, literally, that, that, that's another one of our everything. It is. It's another one of our everything. We, if, if we're going to... Volatile Earth, there's another everything. So we got so many everythings now that we need to collect. This is... I've, I've just created a whole game within a game. And this new game that I have just created... Okay, I remember it doing that. I, as soon as I've seen it, I do remember it doing that. But that is... It's like a freaky thing to see when you're going past, isn't it? That is a very freaky thing to see when you're going past. Okay, we come over here. And the hostile locals are not very pleased about us picking up this elementium. But it shouldn't take very long. We've only got the, the Ravager right there. Ravagers have... They're, they're savage. Look at it go. Hey, like, seriously, I, I remember now. When, when they, like, start attacking, they are proper savage. A bent flare talent. We've got another grey. I, I, I'm like seriously really excited about this whole idea now that I've actually just started literally just started volatile fire wait a minute uh, was that the cataclysm thing there was there's volatile air and there's volatile fire I think those are actually worth quite a bit on the auction now so getting a full stack of 200 of them that's going to be worth, like, that's several thousand golds worth right there, just, just for those alone. Um, but I'm, like, seriously excited about this idea of just gathering absolutely everything in existence in the game. And I don't know why I'm this, like, giddy about it, because it's not like it's going to give us anything. But I'm still really, really, really keen on doing this. This is something that, I, I don't know why, this really appeals to me. How can I be of assistance? The Stone Father's son, Flint, sent you. No time to talk. We must prevent a second war, a second front from opening up on the war. Okay, I love this guy's voice. May the that. Earth guide you. May the Earth guide you. The Earth calls. The Earth calls. Before you can help us here, you're going to have to deal with Therizane, the Stone Mother's forces to the south. The elementals and giants upon the quaking fields are being mustered. They too are after the middle fragment of the world pillar. They'll attack us amidst our war of the sto with the stone trogs, and we'll be unable to repel them. I've sent the Arch Geomancer ahead. Get to Slate Quicksand and do as he asks. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. 
Okay, I actually really like that guy. I think he's brilliant because we've seen one of them before, but he didn't actually speak to us, so I didn't. I just kind of gave him my normal voice. I'm a bit disappointed now because that was actually really. Everything's got a deep voice. This is the problem. I do a I do a recording session for World of Warcraft, and that has to be my final recording session for the day because I'm constantly doing all these deep voices, and it takes it out of me. So. <laughs> I then need to rest my voice for the remainder of the day. So always make sure my recording session for Warcraft these days is um, at the end of my recording day. And, um, yeah, it does make a difference. Good human, you're here. We'll have to act fast if we're to prevent Therizine's forces from attacking. He's not talking like the, like the first one that we met. We must keep Therizane's forces from attacking Stone Hearth. If they do, they will steal the middle fragment of the World Pillar. The Emerald Colossi of the, are the greatest of the Stone Mother's creatures. They must be the first to be removed from the field. I brought Stone Father or Mantle's axe for just this task. Use it to sunder the giants. That should bring them down to a more manageable size for you to finish off. Okay. You're going to have to deal with the leader of Therizane's forces here. However, you to get to him quickly and safely, I'm going to need to perform a ritual. Go out into the field and collect elemental ore from the ragers. With enough of it, I should be able to make you one with the ground to get you where you need to go. Uh, Lasso Danny has earned the achievement Thousand Needles Quests. I better congratulate him for that. Uh, Gerats. Grats. Yeah, right. Um, because I was so slow reading that, I didn't really understand what I'm supposed to do. I'm pretty sure I need to go after this guy and then wallop him with this. Boom. Like that. Knock him down to more uh, to, to, to a, a better size, like that, and then kill him. Right, that bit I can understand. I, I can figure out that bit. That's, that's the kind of thing that I can get my head round. Hit him with the big thing until he becomes a small thing and then kill the small thing. It's essentially what we've got to do. Right, we can mine that one out and we get shimmering shards. So, see, we get these items. There's more items here that we want to go, we go and do. Jade Rager right there. That's uh, another one that I need to get. It's too uh, far away. You over there. Throw that one at... Look at that big dude up there. He's a very big dude. He doesn't look happy to see me, though. You think he'd like... It, it, it's not like a, an, a, an old reunion. Look, look. I, I thought that we'd I thought that we'd be like really happy to see each other, but he's, he's not. Doesn't seem happy. Okay, Dog Rocket, I'm summoning you out. You can come and help me as well. Where is he? Oh, there's Dog. He's not doing a lot. Dog Rocket, you're supposed to be helping, man. Come on, you're a prince. You're a magical prince, no less. You ought to be able to crack stone shard. Did you see that? I picked up a crack stone shard. I'll be able to add another shimmering shard. I'll be able to add that to my collection. Ooh. I didn't even know we could mine these. More shimmering shards. Okay, the shimmering shards, we're going to have our full stack of 20 in those in no time at all. So now all we've got to do is find everything else in the game. <laughs> this is... What have, I what, what have I started? I mean, honestly, what have I started? Tell me in the comments section, honestly, uh, what do you think of this idea? Do you think I'm absolutely bonkers? Ludicrous. Do you, do you think this is not really something that I should even be thinking about? I shouldn't even be contemplating this. Or do you think it could actually provide a, a, um, like a, an interesting to get closer. backstory besides you know collecting pets and um, following and, and doing everything else that we do in this game? It's like, can we do it? How many characters am I going to have to make with bank space? in order to be able to actually complete this uh, entire quest. How difficult is it going to be to gather up some of... Because, I mean, even if we just set ourselves the grey quality items and we don't do any others whatsoever, we've still got a huge undertaking here. Like, 
I, I kid you not, this is like, even if it's just the grey quality items and nothing else, it's still going to take a massive amount to go and do it. Um, the fact that I'm saying white quality items as well, that means we're going into the realms of looking through every single crafting uh, profession. Because every crafting uh, profession does have white intermediate items that they make. So we're going to need to be able to cover every single um, crafting profession. Um, that includes the gathering one. So this is a multi-character multi thing that we're going to have to do. Uh, we've got at least... No, it's, it's definitely it's, it's a it's a big multi-character thing that we're going to have to do because um, we're going to have to cover like obviously just the gathering to start with. We got mining and engineering on this one, but then you've got blacksmithing that you can cover as well. You've got um, the next character that we're talking about making is a um, someone that it's a hunter that will do leather working and skinning. So like, there's a whole lot of things on there, but seriously like um you start you really start to think about this thing that we've set ourselves and it gets genuinely obscene doesn't it and you really really think about this task of gathering one of everything that exists in the game that is gray or white in quality ignoring the green stuff ignoring the greens i mean i i, I do want to i do want to include green as well but even if you ignore that and you just say white and grey, that's like... Uh, that, is a, that is a massive thing. It's huge. It's mind-bogglingly huge. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. And then... Um, right, Ryder is leaving. That is Ryder right there. And he, he's off on his way. We, we will say goodbye to him later. Um, like, when, when I say this is huge, I... Even if we just go for the grey quality items, it's still, like, trying to get all the grey... I don't think we would even be able to fit all the grey quality items onto one character. This is the, the big thing about this. It's like, if we've got this going across multiple characters, that's where it's going to get really tricky. And we're probably going to have to get some kind of um, bag management add-on that lets you look at what you've got on all other characters... So that you can um, get an idea of where things are and who you've got to post it to. Because otherwise, it's, I just can't see it working. Not that I, I don't have to worry about that at the moment. But this is, if we're to actually, like, really start to work our way through this, then that is what we're going to need to do. In order to be able to make this work, um, that's the sort of thing that we're going to be looking at. We're going to have, there's like a huge, huge amount of stuff that we're going to have to do in order to be able to get this to actually be successful and I think it is going to be awesome fun I really do it's, it's like the ultimate background challenge for Warcraft just gather one of everything and yeah I'm not talking about armor all right armor weapons no we're, we're not going down that route and we're, no, we're gonna leave blue and epic quality items as well uh, not interested in that we will just stick with the, the lower level stuff right Thank you, Grundorn. Without all of their giants, Terezane's forces will have a harder time taking Stone Hearth. Now, if you please, hand back the axe. I'll keep it safe until you can rescue the Stone Father. Okay. Have you all that is required? These should do. I'll just need a moment to prepare the ritual. The leader of the Stone Mother's forces here is, excuse me, the great Earth Elemental Lord Avalanchion. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to interrupt things here because that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.